Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Bazi here, and look at that! <laughs> look at that! Look at look at that! I found I found some random uh, Breaking Bad mod, and appara <laughs> apparently, a good old-fashioned Heisenberg worldwide has a quite big empire, actually. Heisenberg Empire. He's both a popular figurehead. He's headstrong. He's a champion of peace for some reason. That doesn't really make much sense. And then he's a stout defender. Defender. So I thought that we should try that. For some reason, he's a Jesse is a communist. Okay. <laughs> so I thought we were gonna try that. How the fuck does he have nothing research? Like not even guns. No guns. No support equipment. No tanks. No. 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 And no. Absolutely nothing researched. I guess I'll have to start with some guns, just so I can at least make some infantry. Is it gonna be some weird Nazi divisions we're gonna make? I don't know. Example division. What a great one. Infantry. How the fuck can I make that? When I can't- when I don't even have any- What? The flag up here is also a bit weird. Can't really see what it's supposed to be. But let's look at the fo- Why does it- It's just a standard focus tree! <laughs> I was expecting a little more! <laughs> but- but okay! Wait! So if we go fascist, it's Gustavo Frank. What about Democratic? That's Flynn White? Junior? Oh, Walder- Walter Jr. <laughs> but if I want to fight America, that for some reason I've put troops in my lands. In a few different places here. Weird. Or maybe I should go for Mexico first. I don't know. But if I want to fight them, I should probably... I should probably go either communist or fascist, right? But do they even have the same... Bonuses? I don't know. <laughs> Hank is a... <laughs> Hank is a field marshal. <laughs> and the general is coming. <laughs> All, also, look at how insane he is. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. They are absolutely insane. Wait, I just realized I'm in an alliance with Mexico. The fuck? It's called Mefta. <laughs> I was expecting for some reason the Salamancas to be in power down here in Mexico, but apparently not. Okay, I was just looking at the infantry division here, right? And how does it have both anti-air and artillery multiple times? In support, of course. Gaining a fuck ton of oil. I did take all the American oil states, basically. Okay, I feel like going communist to get Jesse but I feel like going fascist because that would give me militarism and military youth giving me 7% extra uh, el uh, core manpower and I don't have that much manpower so if I want to fight America I feel like I need that and also Gustavo Fring wouldn't be bad but I really want Jesse so I'll, I'll figure that out I just realized, I have no military high command. I have no army, uh, chief of army. No chief of navy. No chief of air force. Or furious. <laughs> what the fuck? Hank Goodman? Saul White? Gus Schrader? <laughs> In industrial concerns, I can get the car. It does nothing. <laughs> but I can get the car wash. And for some reason, in like tank design, basically all the others here, I can get... His car, the Pontiac, does nothing, but I can't get in. Hmm, you don't see this every day. National Spain is actually losing. <laughs> I finally got a submarine, right? Uh, I had to research and ooh, all that good stuff first. And then I can have Jane Atat as my fucking leader. Look how overpowered <laughs> he made all the leaders. So I chose Todd as my naval Admiral. You know what? I decided I'm gonna go with the Pinkman party. I want Jesse Pinkman as my leader. I couldn't really decide between Gustavo and Jesse. 
And that's mostly because Gustavo would give me a lot of manpower. Actually, would maybe I should go. I haven't decided anyways, boys. Wait, I have a base value stability of 100%. Based. Looks like I was speaking a little bit too quick about National Spain losing. <laughs> Seems like they're winning now. You know what? I actually decided now. So, I feel like I need a lot of manpower. Especially if I have to fight with America. I'm gonna go here just so I can get my 7% bonus. I'm so sad I'm not gonna be Jesse Pinkman. Maybe I can try it at another time. But I'm gonna be Gus Fring then. So, uh, in Denmark, we just got a king again. Just like... The good old days. For the first time in 52 years, the men are finally on top. I have to put in Saul White <laughs> instead of Hank Goodman or Gus Raider. <laughs> Wait, I'm not quite sure how the fuck Jesse Pinkman party got bigger. But okay. And the Spanish Civil War just ended with a nationalist win. Like usual. But it was kind of late. It was kind of late. Wait, so it's going quite quickly now, because we both have Gus Soul Wide, of course. <laughs> and we have Nationalism. Australia Severs Torture Britain! <laughs> I just made a new general because my army got bigger. It's Flynn White, bros. It's Flynn White. He's just of course, nearly not nearly as good as the others, though. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm going to just go for a complete submarine navy. I don't know why. I got the idea. I was like, why not? Let me do that. Bro, <laughs> he just instantly fell ill. What the fuck, Flynn? I mean, he does, he does not have any legs. Oh, they just don't function. Bro, my gamer Mexico just left the faction because they went... Fascist now, but it, wait, you went, you went, Liberty Ethos. What? I guess that means we have to take Mexico back, right? Wait, so Estonia was like, nah, bruh. So now they're at war with Soviets? Huh, wait. <laughs> Did they actually go for the communist route? But they're also quite a bit fascist. Interesting. Interesting, brother. So, um, the Soviets are fighting both Finland and Estonia right now. How are they doing? Soviet Finnish war here. Yeah, better than in real life. So, Estonia lost pretty quickly. They killed like 800 Russians, but lost 14,000 men. Basically, only the Finnish doing anything. <laughs> Poor Estonia. And they're done! Wait, Romania just declared one Hungary. Hungary is in the Axis. Romania is now... ...at war with their Axis alone. Which is interesting. Because they had their independence guaranteed. But they chose to declare war. Why? Also, you could have went fucking fascist and joined up with them. But no, 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 no. Okay, this is the first... Third time in a row, Poland seeds Stansik. What the fuck is up with my playthroughs? Also, India keeps going into a civil war! A fascist civil war! What the fuck? Oh! Germany declared war on Luxembourg. Luxembourg joined the Allies. Germany is now fighting... Still only Luxembourg. But since it's only the UK and the Allies, I mean, they couldn't even get to the rescue anyway, right? Wait, what the fuck? But, what is France doing? And Luxembourg capitulated while they declared war in the Netherlands. Will they join the Allies too? Haha! <laughs> yeah, they would. Now the UK can actually get in. Oh, and Romania also joined the Allies. And then Free India joined the German Reich. And Belgium joins the Allies. Hell yeah. Okay, so the war started. And India for s again is in the Axis. And the Axis is fighting the Allies. Without e France even. So that means they must have an easier time. Especially now that the Maginot is not really gonna matter. Since, you know, uh, France is having 
a decent time, I guess, by not being at war. But Germany will probably go to war with the... Wait, are you actually... They're... Poland might be going fascist, right? Maybe? I don't know. Everybody has their two-front war. Romania down here and the Benelux over here. But this time it seems like they're doing it a little better. Fine. Or uh, some, I don't know. Oh shit, the Soviet Union just straight up ate half of Finland. <laughs> and it turned the rest into a puppet of the... <laughs> oh shit. Finland, you got a way worse deal than usual, man. Way worse. Why didn't you call in the Germans to help? Huh? 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 Finally, it's time for the national referendum! Oh yeah, baby! We are now Gustavus Polos among us. Polos! Wait! Elusive gentleman, of course. Master manure, of course. Hawk. That gives less stability, but war support. Sure. Primate of Mexico. <laughs> what's the, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it gives the stability. Anti-communist, sure. Fascist sympathies, sure. German technological patron, factory output. We are getting some good stuff from this. Also, I can finally go to war economy. Hell yeah! Oh, and also, I could see that if I just up my uh up the opinion of Mexico towards me, they would be willing to join my faction again. Finally, Germany declared war on France. And they, of course, joined the Allies, right? But hey, I am glad that for once we don't have a Soviet civil war that puts Trotsky or Ivan Smirnov in power. And we actually can keep having the normal Soviet Union that wants to do shit. Oh, and uh, for some reason, Yugoslavia is at war with Germany. Meaning they joined the Allies. Even though they could have maybe just went fascist. Finally, got Mexico back in. Love that strategic reason to ally buff thing there. And look at that. Miffed up, bro. That's miffed up, bro. It does make me kind of glad that they actually joined. Because I would have been so annoyed if I had to invade these fuckers. Especially because I couldn't do it without America joining in. You know, so I would have to do a two-front war. No, thank you. <laughs> also, I'm the only Amer in Americas that isn't guaranteed by the US. Oh, wait. Yes, I am the only in the Americas that isn't guaranteed by the US. Wait, wait. <laughs> Did they just make Hawaii into a republic again? No, Hawaii, no state. You're just, uh, you're not, no America, you're just the republic now. You're your own thing, okay? Very nice, very nice. Don't even have any troops. <laughs> Wait a second. Poland gave <laughs> Poland gave Germany Danzig. Now the Russians invaded. Are we gonna see the Russians ending up in a war with the Allies? Since you know, Britain did guarantee the independence of Poland, right? So let's see. They did. <laughs> so the Allies. It's gonna fight not only the Axis, but also the common turn. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Wait a second! For once, the two last time Free India fucking won, but this time... The Raj won. What? What? Wait, Poland capitulated, right? Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot. Germany actually declared war on them too because they joined the Allies. Of course, not declared, but they got pulled in. So yeah, Germany uh, ended up getting... Uh, Germany and Hungary? So yeah, the Axis ended up getting more than the Russians. And the, the Russians has to fight the Allies too. Interesting. This is gonna be very weird war. Uh, so South Africa just got a fascist civil war? Okay. That's interesting. Um, can they win? Oh, they'll probably just end up joining the f uh, Axis, right? I think so. And we basically seen uh, decolonization already too, kind of. I mean, they're still puppets. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, but maybe I should send some volunteers. I could only send one. I, I, I'm not about to do that. And just as expected, they joined the Axis. Also, uh, apparently, uh, fascist Montenegro is, uh, is, is with us. Germany, how dare you? Don't attack us in America! <laughs> Soul Strader. <laughs> Oh, and China capitulated, so now they're a Japanese pub. Provincial authority. Which is interesting. Japan. Pretty big, bro. Now no longer at war. You fight. You got it. Wait. Yeah. Japan, are you going for Xinjiang? You don't even have a base on Mar. You don't even have... A Guangxi Why did you leave them? Why did you leave them? Okay, so Japan actually finally ended up at war with the Allies. So the Allies is at war with both the Axis, uh, Comintern, and Greater East Asian Cope Prosperity Sphere. I hope you're proud of yourself, Churchill. But you know, that's mostly because I don't see any way the British will win this. Oh, Japan uh, declared on Sea Base Anma and Xinjiang too! Ha! Okay, I just realized that this is called meth have feeder <laughs> meth have feeder <laughs> okay very funny it is wait the soviets and germans are on good relations together eh, it does make sense they're both fighting the allies but still have they kind of oh they haven't really done much okay they haven't done much to the british navy they basically just gotten beaten up themselves Bro, I'm literally gaining so many civilian factories from trade that I haven't even gotten anything to use them on. Right now, I am just at the point where sometimes I get region-wide industrial integration and I build some military factories, of course. But otherwise, I have just been... First, I was like, yeah, let's just build up to level 5 of forts on the, uh, on the fucking border, right? And I was like, yeah... I still don't have anything to do. So now I'm on my way to make it level 10 forts. And I might actually be able to finish that before I invade America. I was actually trying to wait for America to join the allies just so they would have their troops outside. But I don't feel like that's gonna happen very soon at least. So I might soon just start the war because at this point I've just been sitting here for a long time. I think it's time. I think it's time to justify a war goal. Oh, I just saw how how America is pulling a fuck ton of troops up here. That's um a, a little bit scary. <laughs> and it's time. We can declare the war. And it's gonna go down. Baby. Okay, let's actually unpause and see if the Americans are gonna attack. Oh, they joined the allies, of course. Chicken American war. Chicken American war? <laughs> yeah, we are, you know, trying to get a little bit of an meth empire into the rest of the country. A little annoying that they're joining the allies, though. But hey, fair enough. Are they not even attacking me? They're they're not gonna attack me. I mean, yes, I do. Oh shit! I mean, yes, I do have a lot of forts. Bro, they fucking land in the naval invasion. And they, uh, uh, why is it just fort? I should have made fucking. Uh, I should have made coastal forts, bro. I should have made coastal forts. <laughs> oh, free India to go over again. Okay, fair enough. I thought you had capitulated, but fair. Oh shit, I sank a carrier, bro. Besides that, um, this war hasn't really been going... Uh, naval part hasn't been going that well for me. Also, I've been shitting out a fuck ton of green troops just because uh, I felt like I had to. <laughs> Otherwise, America was gonna beat my fucking ass. I just didn't have the troops to cover the front. So, <laughs> this was very dumb. But hey. Uh, yeah, I, I'm producing my submarines pretty quick, but they aren't really that strong. They're just getting killed. And barely ki killing anything. Even with him being this absolutely 
insanely good. Couldn't you call this just a bunch of gangsters fighting the US and UK government? Or army? Uh, yeah, this is this... <laughs> we are not winning this one. <laughs> oh, bro. No. Ah. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> My many years of getting ready were for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not winning this one, but let me see if I can turn it. I doubt I can. It's it's don't don't expect anything. Maybe the next clip will be me losing. Oh, <laughs> looks like I actually lost. <laughs> oh god, they fucking ate me, bro. They ate me up. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks now. All right. Hey, wait. Are you getting? Are you actually invading? You were fu You were fighting. No, you are not fighting Russia yet. But you are getting ready to fight Russia. Interesting. But yes, I think that's it for this time. Remember to like, subscribe, watch my other videos on the channel. Leave a comment telling me something very cool. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!